greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Alright everyone, it's undeniable that Metroid Dread and the Switch OLED are extremely popular. And today, thanks to Famitsu Magazine, we have the official first week sales numbers for both Metroid Dread and the Switch OLED in Japan and they are impressive. So with that being said, let's get right into it. As you can see here, Metroid Dread in its first week of sales in Japan sits at the number one spot and this game has sold approximately 86,798 copies. Now I do want to make it clear that this number only counts for the physical copies sold in Japan. This doesn't reflect the digital copies as well so this game has sold way more than this 86,798. And when you take a look at the best selling hardware for this past week in Japan, the Switch OLED sits at the number one spot selling approximately 138,409. Man, this is really good news. Earlier this week, we reported here on this channel that Metroid Dread is the fastest selling Metroid game ever in the UK. And it was just yesterday that it was reported that Metroid Dread is selling so well in the UK that it's causing older Metroid games on older Nintendo consoles to sell well as well. And it's because this game is so good. This game has reviewed extremely well and I'm still playing through Metroid Dread at the moment. I haven't completed this game at the time that I'm recording this video, but man, this game is phenomenal. And I can't believe that people are saying that Nintendo was spoiling the game when they were just advertising the heck out of this game, doing what they had to do because Metroid is that good. Now, as far as the Switch OLED is concerned, I'm not surprised that the sales numbers are very high. It's a brand new piece of hardware and it's a very good system. So I'm not surprised at that, but I'm really surprised at Metroid Dread because like I said in previous videos, the Metroid franchise has never sold that well, although the Metroid franchise is extremely popular. So I'm just very glad that Metroid and the Switch OLED are selling very well. Now, if you haven't purchased Metroid Dread as of yet, consider doing so by clicking the affiliate link down in the description box below to bestbuy.com. If you do so, I will receive a small commission which goes directly to supporting this channel. There's also links there for the Switch OLED white model and the neon blue and red model as well. Currently, those Switch OLEDs are sold out, but hopefully they'll be back in stock soon. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Plus, if you want to support this channel financially, become a member by hitting that join button right below this video. The cost is only 99 cents per month and perks are included. And as always, remember to keep it locked here to Around the Clock. We're here, we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next one.